finger. I need to do that again. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Zamori and I'm back again with another video. routine um i'm in my bathroom right now for while you hear the echo and probably you hear the vent as well but we're just gonna ignore that because i'm finally doing my skincare routine that everybody asks me for all the time like literally every single time i post on my um, instagram i'll post like this like a instagram or whatever and i'll be like you guys what kind of video you guys want and somebody at least one person at least one or two people always ask me skincare routine skincare routine because i guess y'all feel like i got really good skin when honestly i don't have like a concrete like routine that i've been doing for years and years that i felt comfortable enough sharing with you guys but this is just a little routine that i've been doing for like a couple months three i have been like sticking to this and um, I thought I would just share with you guys. You guys probably have seen a lot of these products on like other skincare routine videos, but I thought I would just share with you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because like, look at me like you're going to be here for a while. I'm a very nice thing to look at so subscribe <laughs> i'm kidding but now you guys subscribe if you guys did like this video as well as like and comment down below um i like to get my comment section popping as far as like a kind of each one teach one kind of thing so if you do have any skincare regimens um feel free to leave a comment down below also i really to make like a little disclaimer here this is my skincare routine this is mine so this is what works for me and these are the things that i use for my skin everyone's skin is different i don't want to hear nobody talking about some I don't hear about none of that. This is what I do. This is how my skin pimple free. You feel me? So what's up? No, I'm just kidding, but I don't want to hear no, I don't, don't want to hear no, like, you need to be doing, just drop some of your regimens and we'll just keep it like that, okay? Okay. So, um, without further ado, let's just jump right into that video. Oh, uh, and if you guys like my robe, I got this from Savage X Fenty. Make sure you guys check out my video that I did. I'm an unboxing my first time trying Savage X Fenty. Okay, so the first thing that I do, I really hope that this echo is not bothering you guys because if it is, I'm sorry. Um, okay, but the first thing that I like to do is wash my hands. I don't really see a lot of people do this. Um, I use any kind of soap, by the way. This is just some soap. I think it's from Walmart or the Dollar Tree, one of them. But I don't see people do this. I don't see people wash their hands when before they do their skincare routine. And this really bothers me. Okay, so now that I wash my hands, I literally just wipe it on like a clean towel. Bada boom, bada bang. I'm not gonna lie, I normally don't wear a robe, but I just want to wear a robe because it's like my nighttime skincare routine type of thing. So I thought, let me just put on a little robe so I could be like aesthetic -y, you know? But I don't normally wear a robe because my hands get wet. Probably I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. Because we're getting down to business, okay? Okay. So the next thing that I do is I have these little Neutrogena makeup wipes. I don't normally wear makeup, but I do. Ooh. I do wear mascara and I fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. I literally just started doing this probably like two months ago. Before that, I never really wore any kind of makeup. So I literally reuse the same one until it's 100% dirty. So I just take like a little piece and I really wipe off my eyebrows or my mascara. Um, like see, it's really not even that big of like a difference. But I just wipe off all that. And then if I have on mascara, then I'll wipe off my mascara as well. But let's just wipe the brows off. Um, because we don't need those on and then yeah that's basically what it looks like see nothing nothing really too big and I just put it back in this little Neutrogena container that I got this one is so much better than just having a bag y'all because I just and I use it the next day and the next thing that I normally do is I wet my face so I'm gonna go ahead and literally I'm literally just putting water all over my face so there I have water all over my face now, um, I'm gonna, I use African black soap, and this is the kind that I use. It looks so gross, I know, but I literally just take like a little, a little piece. Hopefully y'all can see. I take a little bitty piece like this, and I literally just pick it all over my face. Um, I'm gonna pop a picture right here of the exact kind that I got. I got this from literally the beauty supply store, um, but I've been using it for a minute, and I really feel like it's clearing up my skin, but I've been taking like little bitty pieces and just nibbling it, nibbling, just kind of picking at it day by day. It's working pretty good. I literally have no breakouts at all, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, I literally just wet this piece. I normally do this in the shower, but we ain't got time for all that. I literally just take my hand and put it all throughout 
my face like this. I know like some people that use like brushes and stuff, but for me, I like to feel and I make sure that I get my edges as well because sometimes I um, I get breakouts around here because I'm not washing my edges. Like the gel that I use can sometimes break me off, like break me off, <laughs> break me out. So I make sure that I'm like rubbing the soap on my edges, not on my actual edges, but like close to my hairline to make sure that I'm not gonna get any breakouts there because you don't wanna be keeping gel on your face all the time because like me, for example, it breaks me out and I end up getting like pimples here and I wonder why am I getting a pimple? It's because I'm leaving that gel that I'm putting on my edges on my hair and I'm just like plastering more and more on like every day. Because I do my edges every day, so it is what it is. So I literally just, I do this for probably like two to three minutes and I'm making sure that I'm really like penetrating the soap in and I do it until I don't have any left. Like if y'all can see, looks like a little piece of poop. It was focusing on my hand. I got this new camera, so I don't even know how to use it, but literally, you see how small it is? I'm literally gonna keep doing this until it's nothing. And I like to focus it on the areas that I break. You know what's on my nose? I like to focus it on the areas. Why is the lighting going away? I like to focus it on the areas that I break out a lot. So here on my chin, look at my. Yeah. So here on my chin, I break out a lot, as well as on my forehead. So that's where I like to focus it. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and take a towel. It's not the same towel that I just wiped my hands off with two of the same towels of like 10 days. so i'm gonna get the towel all wet and then then i do this is a clean towel um and then i'm literally just gonna start wiping see now i normally do this in the shower so i just take the shower head and i just run all the water over my face but since we're not in the shower we're just gonna do it like this um so yeah, I'm just gonna be wiping off all the soap. And this is really going to take everything off of your face. And you wanna be careful because I got this in my eye before and I feel like I just did it again. Oh boy. Hold up. Now I'm good. But I've got this in my eye before before and it burns so badly. So make sure you guys are being careful when you're um when you're doing this because you don't want who wants soap in their eye, man? You know? So yeah. Okay, so now that I've basically cleaned my skin. This is what we working with right now. It's a little red right here because I do have low-key sensitive skin. So when I'm rubbing, it kind of gets red. But it doesn't like break me out or anything. But okay, so now that we're done doing that, the next thing that I would normally do if I had any type of breakout. So if I had like pimples right here, if I have, I get pimples here and here. So if I had those, then I would use this um, this drying lotion. It's by Mario Badisky. I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys have probably seen this. By other youtubers but i normally just put like a whole bunch of this on my skin what you do is you take a q-tip and you put it at the bottom of this and then you just take it and i put like a lot on my pimple so it dries it out and most people say like oh the next day the pimple goes away but that's not what it does use it for like two to three nights and i'm telling you the pimple is going to be gone um but then again everybody's skin is different so it all just kind of depends on your skin but um the next thing that i do like to do is I go ahead and take, this is not really like skin, but this is just a part of like my whole face routine, but I go ahead and take this um, Jamaican black castor oil right here, and I like to apply this to my eyebrows, and I like to put black castor oil on my eyebrows because it helps my eyebrows grow. I used to put it on my eyelashes as well, but until one night, one little sweet little night, it got in my eye, and it didn't burn, but it just felt hecka uncomfortable, right? so I was like, I'm not doing that no more. But yeah, I literally just take, this is an eyebrow pencil that I took from another makeup thing, another eyebrow makeup thing that I had got. Um, so I literally just put that, I rub it for some reason, y'all. I don't know what it is, but in the front of my eyebrows, they're like thinning out. You can't really tell unless I point it out, I feel like. But in person, boy, you can see that little guy. So I like to just, I don't know how it happened because when I first got my eyebrows done, that was not there. So I don't know how that happened, but that's basically what I do. And then I just take some toilet paper and I wipe. I usually take a, um, a Q-tip, but I'm not going to go back to my room, mess up my lighting right here and then come all the way back. So I'm just going to take this toilet paper and I'm literally going to wipe around them because I don't want them to heck of like, well, I don't want like, it to drip too much. So I'm just going to wipe that around where I don't want the black castor oil to be. Okay, the next thing that I do is, um, since I have a lot of scarring right here, if you guys can kind of see, I have a lot of scarring right here, 
and kind of, it's gotten better but I have like a lot of like pimple scar because I used to pop my pimples don't ever do that but I used to pop my pimples and I had a lot of scarring right here but I still have some down here so what I've been using is I use this Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E I use this here it heals and softens skin basically this helps with my acne scarring so I don't put this all over my face and I only use this at night because it makes my face super shiny so what I go ahead and do is I just put it on this spot of um where I'm scarring I rub it in and I also have another scar right here I don't know if y'all can see but I have one right there so I put a little bit right there as well and then I'm gonna put some here this is probably the most basic, cheapest skincare routine ever. Like, I feel like people use so much stuff and make it seem like they really be using all their products every day. And I'm like, damn, well, they don't use all their products every day. I just be lying. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to put that there. Put that there. And then sometimes I have scarring again. I have scarring here, so I just put a little bit right there. And then... So since this is only on certain spot, spots of my face, I don't like putting it all over my face. The next thing that I go in with is this Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with pure cocoa butter. And I don't know how to spell the rest, but it's like a smoothing body butter. But I use this on my face only. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually running out. This is what it looks like. Um, I, found, I got this at Walmart. So I literally just put this. As you can see, I'm kind of running out. Um... Ooh, that looks weird. But I put this on the rest of my face. I know it's so weird, but this is what I do. So I literally just put it here. I put too much. Let me put some of this back. And I'll put it literally all the spots I did not put the, um, what you call it, the cocoa butter. So I just do that, and then I literally just rub it in. And who cares if it if it mixes with the other one? It's not that big of a deal. I literally just kind of do that. It don't matter if it mixes. It's okay. You'll live. Okay, so now that I've done that, this is my nighttime routine, but I do want to mention that I do also use this product as well. This is Noxzema. I use this in the morning only, though, um, because I washed my face. Like, this is so strong. The African black soap is so strong. I don't like to use it morning and night, so I just use, like, a cleanser in the morning. So I use this. Um, but don't ask me for morning skincare routine because it's literally all this stuff, the same thing, just minus this. And I literally wash my face with this, and then I put this on my face, and I walk out the door. So, um, that is basically the end of this video, you guys. If you guys do have any questions, please let me know. I know my face is super shiny right now, but we're just going to ignore that. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys have any more video ideas, do not forget to comment down below. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.